And Jackie good here. Morning. Love talking to our good friend Corey DeBerg over at Grand Javante talking about all the different services that Grand Javante offer. Then one that maybe people did not realize, Jackie. Yeah, good morning, Corey. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we're talking about a connection maybe people don't always think about, and that is elective surgeries right now, especially during the pandemic, that can look uh, quite different. But how is Grand Javante kind of an expert of what this looks like, kind of the backlog in place, but how you guys are able to assist at this time? So most nursing homes in Iowa and most nursing homes across the U.S. do have um, therapy as part of their offerings. We all think that long-term care means that you're coming there to put grandma there, you know, mom there, whoever for the long term. But nursing homes do offer a lot of therapy options as well. Um, so we are one of those facilities that offers therapy. And right now, during the pandemic, we're kind of talking about elective surgeries. And elective surgeries are those surgeries by definition that don't have to happen today. They're not medically emergent. They're not life or death. It's not your doctor saying you must do this today. These are the surgeries that would be, you know, your oral surgeries. So having that root canal done that, yes, it's painful. You need it done, but are you going to die tomorrow or is it going to compromise your health down the road if you don't do it? Probably not. Um, still needs to be done, but it's not emergent today. Um, another examples are your, you know, back pain. Yes, you're probably not comfortable. It's not the best situation, but is it going to compromise your health, your life? Um, is it going to put you in a life or death situation if it's not done tomorrow? Not going probably, but going to be uncomfortable. Yes. So elective surgeries are those surgeries that you want to do to make your body feel better, to get rid of the pain, but they don't have to be done today. So from that standpoint, um, we as a facility offer rehab for when you are discharged from the hospital, meaning after you've had that back surgery, you've had that knee surgery, you've had that hip surgery, you need rehab to make yourself stronger before you can go back home. We are here for you and make you better before you go back home. Now, Corey, how long is a typical stay for this situation? Because there might be some people, as Jackie mentioned, that might not realize that that's a service that you guys have been offering for quite some time now. Is it like a week stay? Is it a two week stay? Is it a, is it a month long? How long of a period of time? So that depends, and that's a good question. That really does depend on your condition. It's different from every person. Our average length of stay is about 16 days for that. Um, but we are seeing a lot of people that do it for a week. Um, it's where you, you, know, you can't quite walk on your own yet because your knees aren't strong. You're not used to that. So you need a little bit of additional assistance, getting your legs stronger again. But this, these are definitely not long-term. These are very short-term stays. These are typically, I mean, more than likely gonna be under three weeks in the nursing home or the rehab part of the building. And a lot of people are probably looking at precautions right now to kind of determine if this elective surgery is something I do want to pursue at this time or if I want to wait. Um, yeah. But it sounds like you guys or at Grand Javante are willing to help at this time during the pandemic if people are needing that therapy assistance, correct? That is correct. And if you, as of July, there's a survey done and it was across the US and about a half of the people surveyed said they or their family members have been affected by not having the elective surgeries they've wanted. Uh, so that's quite a bit. And if you look at it right now, there are statistics out there that show there'll be a 45 week backlog in those surgeries. So if you wanna get your back surgery done today, it might not happen because since the hospital system has kind of looked at not doing surgeries for a while because of COVID, that just means there's a lot more people that want those services done today now because they've been pushed off for a few months. All right, Corey, so what does the whole process look like? Do you um, suggest that maybe somebody come out and check out Grand Javante ahead of time so you can see what you have of the ability to do, have the surgery, and then from the surgery site go right to Grand Javante? What, what do you think the process should be? So we always say talk to your doctor first. You always want to talk to your doctor and figure out does this surgery need to be done today? Can it wait one month? Can it wait a year? You wanna understand from your physician what their perspective is. Is it something that can wait or is it gonna cause you more um, long-term damage by waiting? Yes, you know, that tooth canal or the root canal needs to be done, um, not today, but if you keep pushing it off longer and longer and longer, how much more serious does that make it? So you wanna to talk to you know your physician and truly first determine what is their perspective? When do they want it done? Like what are the risks for pushing it off longer and longer? Um, once you understand that, then you want to start reaching out to figure out, you know, can the surgery be done? Like what is the timeline? What's the availability for that local hospital system that you want to have it done? 
you know, just because you want it done today, it doesn't mean they can accommodate you today. Um, you also want to reach out then and determine you know, with your doctor, with the hospital, what will post-surgery look like? Will I be able to go back home and, you know, be normal and maybe have mild discomfort for a week or two? Or is it something where I'm going to need my family involved at my house, getting groceries for me, um, cleaning the house, doing dishes? Or is it something where I might not be able to walk for two weeks? Uh, my legs won't, won't be as strong. My, you know, you're, you're in a lot of pain. And if you can't walk, that's going to create a lot of other issues as well. At that point, you might want to be reaching out to long-term care facilities, rehab facilities, saying, I do need two weeks of therapy at your building just to make me stronger. Um, so once you figure out, you know, I guess from the first part is, what does your physician say? Should you have that surgery or not? Then determine, can I have that surgery based on the availability of the hospital system? And then thirdly, working with that physician again to determine, okay, how will I be after the surgery? And then, then at that point, you're calling the facility, other long-term care facilities, rehab facilities, and looking at their availability for beds and what their admission process is too, because some facilities might not take you if you're having surgery um, in a COVID area, for example. So there's a lot more probably right now work that needs to go into that surgery prior than you know COVID where you just showed up to your hospital, had the surgery and went home. You wanna make sure everyone's on the same page to ensure that you have the best outcome possible. Now, Corey, as you mentioned, a lot to think about, uh, you know, in normal, quote unquote, normal times. But now you add the pandemic and there's a lot more to think about. But more than anything, it sounds like you need to start the conversation, uh, yep. depending on availability and that backlog that could be in place. And a great conversation you can have is with Grand Javante, whether you're looking for that long term care of your loved one or even just some therapy. So how can people reach out, learn more even during these pandemic times uh, to know how you guys can assist and help at this time? Yep, we're always available Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, um, by calling us at 641-847-3531. Or you can go to our website at www.grandjavante.com. All right, a service that you might not realize that Grand Javante offered that could really come in beneficial, especially with the times that we're living in right now. Yeah, great advice this morning, Corey. Thank you so much for joining us today and helping to take care of our elder Iowans. Thank you for having me. All right, stay safe, buddy. All right, don't go.